Welcome to another Electronics and More video. This is a very quick video that I decided to put together because I was looking on YouTube today and came across a video which claimed that you can start a fire using a lemon. And I saw that, clicked on it, and amazingly in a matter of a few days it has over 4 million views. So I had to take a look at it. And when I did, right off the bat, I could tell by looking at it, that it was just another YouTube scam. If you do watch my channel, you would know that I have a playlist dedicated to YouTube scams. I absolutely hate when people upload videos to YouTube knowing damn well that they're scams in order to deceive people and generate views. On this channel, I never do that. Everything that you see definitely works. So what I did is I put the same exact thing together all right right over here we have six roofing nails that are galvanized which means they're coated in zinc and along the bottom we have those same brass push pins these you could pick up in a stationery store they're used for holding sheets of paper together just like in the other video the anode and cathode of the cells are joined together to create a series connection but what the other person in the video did not tell you is that it is simply not possible to combine a bunch of cells in one lemon. That's not going to happen. In order to do that, you are going to need multiple lemons. Each lemon has to have an anode and a cathode, copper and zinc plugged inside of it, and then you can connect them in series to get higher voltage. What's going to happen when you measure the voltage between the brass and the zinc, you're going to see it's around 650 millivolts, which is around 0.6 volts, which is where he connects the wire to. He claims you're going to have 5 volts. Unfortunately, that's not going to happen. So let me hold that like that. Prop it up so you can see what's going on. Let's measure the voltage and let's see what we get. And you can see it's around 0.7. Now, the longer you leave these inside the lemon, the acid's going to eat away at that galvanized coating. All these connections here are worthless in between. You're shorting the anode and cathode together. Nothing's going to happen. You can even measure between these two. And because they are shorted, you're not going to have any reading showing up. See? Basically shorted them out. And this will drop a little bit now because it's sitting in the acid longer. So all that's happening in that video is that you're measuring the voltage between this pin and this pin. And all of this is like it's not even on the lemon. It's nothing but a big scam. And I'm going to show you the current that's generated. Let me take this up. Put that on a 2 milliamp setting right here. All right. And let's measure the current between here and there. And look at that. Not even 0.05 milliamps. So there's very little current there. So there's definitely not going to be any usable current coming off of this lemon that's going to be able to heat up the steel wool. This is quadruple O. It's the finest you can get. And I will even demonstrate to prove to you it is nothing but a scam. Let me take a smaller piece that's really thin, like they did in the other video. All right. Brass is positive, so I'll throw the red on there. And according to the other video, it's going to work wonderfully. It's going to create sparks. So I'll touch it like that. All right. Now remember, we don't even have one milliamp of current. So you're not going to be doing anything with that. Let me take one little strand right there. All right, and let's touch it right here. Now that's one strand. That should burn in half if it's going to work. Nothing, people. See that? Nothing. Nothing, absolutely nothing. It doesn't matter what kind of a galvanized nail you use. It does not matter what kind of copper or brass you use. It is not going to be starting a fire. 
The only possible way that you would ever be able to start a fire, you would probably need 10 or 20 lemons, and then you would have to connect a anode and cathode on each lemon. Then you would have to connect every single lemon in parallel in order to increase the amount of current. And even then, I still have my doubts if you will be able to cause enough heat inside that steel wool to ignite the paper towels laying on top. It's a shame that you have channels on YouTube that create videos like this for the sole purpose of deceiving people to make a lot of money off of views. While there are many channels like my own which produce excellent content, do not upload scam videos, and only get a fraction of the views. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please rate it a thumbs up, subscribe, and post links to this video on other websites and blogs. Also be sure to check out my video playlists as well. Thank you very much for watching.